Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our unit on technology for the month of、cool. June, and well, I guess we could talk about smartphones or TVs or computers and stuff like that. But we're actually talking about something unusual called. The magic of Pepper's ghost.、Mm. Now, my neighbors in my hometown had a little poodle whose name was Pepper. Oh, really? And I hate <laughs> poodles, so I would really hate to have a Pepper's ghost, <laughs> the ghost of that dog Pepper, come and haunt me. And you But, know he'd be yapping all the time,、oh, yeah, yeah, never stopping to bark. Indeed, I know a lot of people out there love poodles; they think they're cute. But I don't like poodles. Sorry, I, like I don't either. Hunting dogs, you know, like <laughs>、uh, golden retrievers. Yes. Or, Ones. Black labs, Irish, Irish setter. setters, stuff like that. Those、yeah. are more fun. But of course, in Taiwan, <laughs>、uh, houses are smaller, so you need to have、uh, smaller dogs to take care of in the big city. But we're not talking about dogs、yeah. today, and we're not talking about my neighbor's dog Pepper.、Uh, this is actually some kind of illusion that you can、yeah. uh, see when you're watching a movie or watching a play, where the person looks like they're actually there, but they're not. It's like a ghost image. Yeah, I think they're using this,、uh, some of this technology, for、uh, one of the Star Wars films because、um, Leia, Princess Leia, she died、mm -hmm. in real life, guys,、um, and they wanted her image, you know, in the movie.、Um, but yeah, this is Pepper's ghost. Tom and I were talking about the difference between. A hologram and Pepper's ghost. Before we started this, and it sounds like、um, they've got some similarities.、Uh, the Pepper's ghost is used in 3D holography or holography Holo holography. I'm not sure how we say that. I would that. say holography. Holography yeah. pyramids,、yeah. Um, and it's used a lot at trade shows these days in museums and things like that. So. I did see、um, briefly on TV they had some of this technology、uh, being shown when Whitney Houston, right after she passed away, people were saying, "Oh darn," you know, or even Michael Jackson. He was just about ready to go on his last world tour when he passed away, and I thought, "Huh, I wonder how many people will pay to go see, you know, a hologram of him singing." Well, this is kind of that technology.、Uh, we're going to talk about it and a little bit about where it came from too. Stay tuned. We're going to read through the entire lesson. In a sold-out arena, thousands of loyal fans are cheering for their favorite rock band. Suddenly, their jaws drop to the floor when the group's lead singer appears on stage. He died several years ago, yet somehow he's singing and dancing better than ever. When the song ends, the singer magically disappears into thin air. The stunned crowd looks as if they've seen a ghost, and indeed they have. They've witnessed Pepper's ghost, an illusion that's been fooling people for over a century. An Italian scientist and scholar, Giambattista della Porta, came up with a basic concept for Pepper's ghost in the mid 1500s. He wrote about using a sheet of glass to reflect the images of objects and trick people into believing the objects were in another location. In the 1850s, engineer Henry Dirks became inspired by this idea. He imagined a special theater that would use reflected light to create the illusion that the actors were ghosts on stage. Although Dirks came up with this brilliant idea, he never brought it to life. A scientist named John Henry Pepper would eventually introduce these theaters and the illusion to the masses. That's why the illusion is called Pepper's Ghost. Today, Pepper's Ghost is still entertaining people at museums, festivals, and amusement parks around the globe. Disneyland's legendary Haunted Mansion ride uses the Pepper's Ghost technique to scare visitors with dancing ghosts. In recent years, high-tech projectors that beam 3D holograms onto giant screens have elevated Pepper's Ghost to a new level. These advances have helped bring deceased stars like Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston back to life. Thanks to the Pepper's Ghost illusion, 
a new generation of music lovers can experience what it was like to see these legendary artists perform at their best. Okay, let's get to it. Let's discuss the contents of today's lesson in this month's unit on technology. Today is June eighth, and the title of today's article is "Reflecting on the Magic of Pepper's Ghost." Interesting use of the word "reflecting" there. That's what a mirror does. And if you're going to be using this technique of Pepper's Ghost, it does involve a plane of glass or a large piece of glass that will reflect. The light of something, and then you'll think that that thing is actually there. But we'll talk about how this works in just a couple of seconds. So again, we're talking about the magic of something called Pepper's Ghost. Right, named after a guy whose last name was Pepper.、Uh, so here is the situation, the scenario that、uh, most of our articles start out with. We're kind of painting the scene for you. You're in a sold-out arena. Arena is where you go to see some sort of event that has a very large audience. Maybe it's a game. Maybe you're in、um, an arena watching a soccer match. Maybe you're in arena watching a basketball game, or maybe you're there to see a concert, which is always fun. Well, there are thousands of loyal fans there cheering for their favorite rock band. Now, arena. Is usually a word we use when it's inside, so it has a roof on it. Although some of these arenas, the roof actually can、uh, be、uh, pulled aside. I guess retracted. Retracted, yeah.、Um, it's so hot in Arizona where I grew up that the baseball team plays in an arena with a roof. So during the winter when it's heavenly. In Arizona,、uh, the roof will be, you know, open. And when it's hot and you can't stand it in the summer, it will be closed. So that's what an arena is. Uh, yeah, in Taipei, of course, on Dunhua North Road, there's the Taipei Arena there. There's also an MRT station there. So yes, this is an arena for a concert, and it's sold out. All of the tickets have been sold, and the loyal fans are there cheering for their favorite rock band. Now suddenly, their jaws drop、mm -hmm. to the floor when the group's lead singer appears on stage. If your jaw drops, that means your mouth opens and your jaw just kind of falls down because you're Very shocked at what you're seeing. You can't believe what you're seeing. <gasps> How could that be happening?、Yeah. So indeed, their jaws drop to the floor because the lead singer appears on stage. Which is、uh, well. Why would that be so unusual? Well, it's unusual because he died several years ago. Yet somehow he's singing and dancing better than ever. So yeah, I can't think of any lead singers of any bands that died recently. But I can think of say Michael Jackson, you know, or or Prince or somebody.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, if you go to a concert and suddenly there's Michael Jackson on stage, your jaw is going to drop. You're going to go, wow, what the heck is Michael Jackson doing on stage there? It must be a trick. He died several years ago. Kind of crazy. So, yeah.、Um, but somehow he's there on the stage and he's singing and dancing better than ever. We use that phrase "better than ever" when someone、uh, makes a comeback. Sometimes after they've been injured,、um, they come back and they're playing better than ever. Or your your store was almost ready to close, and then suddenly you had a new product that everybody loved, and now your business is better than ever. So it's much better after going through kind of a tough time.、Um, wow, that would be kind of cool to see. So when the song ends. The singer magically disappears into thin air. We also use that phrase to talk about something just disappearing, you know, and there's no trace of it. What? Just like it disappeared into thin air. Where are my keys? I just put them here on the counter. Well, they just must have disappeared into thin air because they're not here now. We、mm. use that phrase a lot in life. So, what does the crowd look like? Well, Tom talked about how their jaws drop to the floor. Here it says the stunned crowd looks as if they've seen a ghost. So, if you're stunned, you're shocked. Sometimes when people are stunned, it's almost like. They can't even speak. They don't move. They're just stuck there, like they're frozen for a bit. They can't believe what they're seeing or what's happening. 
Yeah, stunning seems to involve electricity somewhat,、uh, maybe being shocked or something like that. So you're stunned here,、uh, you don't know what to do. And while they're going, that looks like a ghost, and perhaps they actually have. They've witnessed. Pepper's ghost and illusion that's been fooling people for over a century. Hey, Tom, so, you mentioned a stun、yeah. using electricity. Sometimes on TV shows or in the movie, you'll see the police use something called a stun gun. Mm. Where they're shooting electricity into someone's body rather than shooting a real bullet at them, which is it still hurts a lot. I understand, but it's、uh, it won't kill them. I believe that's called a taser, isn't、mm-hmm. it? But、uh, yes, you're stunning the person so they can stop causing trouble. They're just called stun guns,、them. you know. It's kind general of the term, general yeah, term. Yeah. Gun, yeah, sure. But in this particular case, though, if you see that singer on stage, you're witnessing. Pepper's ghost. So here we've got the verb to witness,、mm-hmm. which means you see something happening. It's usually a crime,、uh, like、uh, last night I witnessed a motorcycle accident. I was approaching an intersection and I and I heard this boom、Ooh. sound.、Uh, yes,、yeah, somebody tried to cross the street and did not see another scooter coming.、Ow. So I witnessed that. I saw that happening. It appeared that they were okay, but in this particular case, you actually see this. You're witnessing this. You're experiencing this. It's An illusion that's been fooling people for a long time. An illusion, of course, is something that you think is there, but it's not.、Mm. Yeah, an illusion. Sometimes, if you've ever walked a long distance in the desert, like I have, and you're thirsty, sometimes if you look out, it's so hot that the air is kind of wavy in front of your face, and you kind of think you see a little bit of water in front of you. That's、uh, an illusion. Um, you just want it so badly. You think it's there. Well, what we're experiencing when we witness Pepper's ghost is an illusion, and it's been fooling people or tricking people for over a century. We're going to look at what happened、uh, a while ago. Who actually came up with the idea? Why we call it Pepper's ghost? But first, guys, we're going to take a quick break and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, my name is Shelby. 现在进行第五单元的中文讲解。先看标题 ，reflect 反应或者是反思，既可以呼应光影技术，又表达反思这技术的双重含义。Paper's ghost 是舞台上看到的光影影像。第一段先描述某舞台的现场，在一个门票销售一空的表演场地，粉丝为他们最喜欢的乐团欢呼。突然，他们大吃一惊。当主唱出现在舞台时 ，their jaws drop to the floor。这是夸饰法，原意是下巴掉到地板，表示非常惊讶。当歌曲结束的时候，这位歌手消失的无影无踪。Into thin air， 原意是薄薄的空气，表示无影无踪。接着空格一，然后他们目睹了佩博尔现象，一个愚弄人很久的现象。上句描述观众看到的舞台现象，下句说明这现象为何。可见空格一应该与观众以及佩博尔现象有关。选项 B， 惊讶的人们仿佛看到鬼，而事实也的确如此，说明人们真的看到某物。刚好呼应下一句的 Paper's Ghost 文艺连贯句子当中的连接词 as if 表示仿佛、好像，多用于假设语气。但是在这一句中，只是做单纯的推测，用直数据、动词 have seen 已经看到来表示。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. By the name of Gian Battista, did, did I say that right? Well, almost. It's Gian Battista. Gian Battista.、Uh, we used to have a Yankees player who was、uh, Giambi. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, it comes from that. Giambi. So I just said John Batista, but close. Yeah, Della Porta. Okay, and、uh, he came up with the basic concept for Pepper's Ghost way back in the mid 1500s.、Woo! So that's、uh, like 500 years ago. Smart man. We've got this phrase here to come up with something. That means you basically create this idea. You think of this idea. So maybe someone is、uh, relying on you to come up with a plan to save your country from the terrible disease that's taking over. Yeah, we need to come up with a plan.、Mm -hmm. We need to think of an idea so that we can solve this problem. He wrote about using a sheet of glass to reflect the images of objects, and trick people into believing the objects were in another location. So, if I had to guess about、uh, Mr. Della Porta, I would guess that he probably made a living as a magician or someone who was、uh, entertaining people. Well, back in the day, that was a long time ago. Well, moving on, time passed, and in the 1850s. Then we had an engineer. So this was something he actually studied. Henry Dirks was his name, and he、uh, he found out about this idea that uh, uh, Della Porta had come up with. But that was、um, in the 1850s. He was inspired by it. He imagined a special theater. They would use reflected light to create the illusion that the actors were ghosts on stage.、Um, it sounds like he worked perhaps for a, a theater that put on plays, like drama, drama plays. And they said, "They said, hey, is there any way we can make this person kind of look like a ghost? Such an interesting idea." And I, I'm sure he did research and came up came across this idea. If you didn't come up with it, sometimes you can say, "I came across this idea."、Uh, while I was doing some research, wow, what a great idea! I can make it even better. So if you come up with it, you're the first person. If you came across it. You just kind of bumped into it by accident, probably because you were doing some research at the time.、Uh, yeah, and I think they probably noticed this with glass、yeah. at some point. I think we all do when you look in a, a window or something and you、uh -huh. see a reflection. You think, "Hey, is there actually somebody standing there?"、Mm -hmm. uh, no, they're actually standing farther down the sidewalk, but、yeah. it looks like they're actually there. So I think they probably had seen that before, and they were kind of、uh, thinking of ideas to make it. Uh, you know, be used in the theater. How they could earn money with the idea? Basically, yeah. How can <laughs> we create that artificially、yeah. uh, to actually make some money for it and、sure. have these actors on stage? Like maybe if they're you know putting on Hamlet or something, and Hamlet's ghost appears on stage, true.、Uh, they could do that, and there there would be、uh, the dead old man there talking to his son. Kind of cool.、Uh, yes, Dirk came up with this brilliant idea, and although he did come up with this idea, he never brought it to life. He Was unable to find a piece of glass that was big enough. I guess a scientist named John Henry Pepper would eventually introduce these theaters and the illusion to the masses.、Hmm. So these other guys thought of the idea, but they couldn't actually bring it to life. It、uh, took the efforts of John Henry Pepper to actually. Put it up or set it up in theaters,、mm -hmm. so that's why we're calling it Pepper's Ghost because he's the guy who actually set this thing up and、uh, created this illusion for people, and that's why the illusion is called Pepper's Ghost.、Uh, notice here that he's actually wanting to、um, introduce the theaters and the illusion to the masses. When you see that phrase "to the masses," guys, it just means to the the public at large, not to the people that have the most money that can only go to、uh, these theaters. Theaters because they can pay for tickets. If you bring something to the masses, you do it in a way that even people who aren't wealthy,、um, maybe who just you know are, are the peasant workers, you you find a way that you can bring it to them too, so everyone can enjoy it, and not just those who are wealthy or、um, part of the elite or the aristocracy.、Uh, they all have enough money that they can do what they want, as you know. Moving on to the final paragraph, it says today. Pepper's ghost is still entertaining people at museums, festivals, and amusement parks around the globe.、Uh, we uh, talked about how Disneyland uses it. We're going to talk about that in a minute,、um, but also at festivals. I've been to a Shakespeare festival, and they had that sort of、uh, trickery working so that、um, it looked like a ghost was on stage, but we all knew. You know, it was some sort of trick they were doing. We didn't quite know how it worked, but now I understand a little better how they're producing that effect.
Yeah, we've、uh, got that effect in our car. I think most people have this, where the speed, your current speed, is、uh, projected onto your windshield oh,、uh, oh. as you're driving, and usually in green numbers, so that you can tell how fast you're going instead of looking down at your dashboard. So I think that's uh, similar. Uh, they are projecting some kind of image into、cool. light or into glass that is at a 45 degree angle, and、mm. there you think something is there. But it actually isn't. Now today, Pepper's Ghost is still entertaining people, as you said, at various places,、mm-hmm. including Disneyland. There, Disneyland's legendary haunted mansion ride uses the Pepper's Ghost technique to scare visitors with dancing ghosts. So it's legendary, which means lots of people know about it, and it's been around for a long time. It's a legend, and yeah, I've heard of the haunted mansion, but I'm from a part of the United States that is very far from California, so I never got to see this、uh, haunted mansion ride. But you have, right? Oh, I love the haunted mansion. Well,、um, I grew up in Arizona, so it took about five hours to drive to L.A. or Anaheim, where Disneyland is. So we love to go there. My parents loved Disney. Land that was their honeymoon, so yeah. Even today, I have、uh, three of my siblings that own year passes, so they can go. They have lots of kids, and we love it. So I joined them there last October for、um, Halloween at Disneyland, which is really fun. They change all of the rides, and、uh, the Haunted Mansion happens to be my favorite ride. It's just fun, and they use the Pepper's Ghost technique to scare visitors with dancing ghosts. You're in this one room, I know, and it, you look around. It looks like there. If you look in the mirror, it looks like there's someone right next to you. You know what I mean?、Mm. Uh, laughing and talking. It's not too scary, you know, because they want kids to enjoy it too. Sure. But、uh, they they've been using that sort of technique for a long time. Now, in recent years,、uh, high tech projectors that beam. 3D holograms onto giant screens have elevated Pepper's Ghost to a new level. So we've got these projectors that we use for PowerPoint presentations a lot, guys. They can beam or shoot light. That's what that is.、Uh, beam 3D. Uh, holograms onto the giant screens, and that's just taking the technology up a notch. If you elevate something, you make it better.、Uh, it can literally mean just higher, right? Elevators take us up and down, but if you elevate an idea, you actually improve it and make it even cooler. And that's what they've done with Pepper's Ghost. Yep, they have moved it to a higher level here, so it's more sophisticated, and it's more interesting and more believable. Yeah. And these advances have helped bring deceased stars like Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston back to life. Okay, so yes, indeed, we've got these stars like Michael Jackson and Prince and Whitney Houston and other people who tragically died too young. Yeah. They are deceased. They are dead. Deceased here, of course, is a polite way of saying someone. Has passed away. They're no longer with us, and this is a way to bring these people back. Michael Jackson. Gee, I can't believe that he's gone. How could that guy actually leave the earth like that? He was such a star. And same, the same thing could be said of Whitney Houston. But hey, this technology is bringing them back to life. Thanks to Pepper's Ghost Illusion, a new generation of music lovers can experience what it's like to see these legendary artists perform at their best. Yeah, it's kind of a shame some of the kids who are just being born today haven't seen these、uh, e- any of these stars. They'll never get a chance to see them live. But I guess this is the next best thing. So if you get a chance, you might check out the tickets to one of these concerts that will have. This kind of cool technology, so you can see your favorite singer again. Maybe When, they'll bring Dung Lee Jun back to life. <laughs> I don't think so. I would personally pay money to go see Michael Jackson、uh, this way. Whitney Houston, I don't know. She's my favorite singer, though. Right now, we're gonna listen one more time to our Chinese teacher. Italian scientist Boerta first proposed the basic concept of the Boer image: come up with. 动词片语表示提出、想出来。例如 ，He comes up with a good idea. 他想出一个好点子。接着，空格二，前面提到 concept 概念，表示这句应该与这概念有关。选项 F， 他指出来利用玻璃来反射物体，诱使人们相信物体在另外一个位置。这一句内容延续上一句的基本概念，又衔接下一句受概念启发，所以答案是 F。那玻璃呢？是 glass， 不可数名词，前面要用 sheet 
s h e e t 片来计量单位形容，例如说两片玻璃 two sheets of a glass。接着，工程师 Dirks 受到启发，他设想一个特殊剧场，营造舞台上的演员是鬼。不过，他虽然想出这个好点子啊，却从来没有实行过。剧尾 Broad 是 Bring 的过去式 ，Bring 点点点 to life 使什么复活。Life 当元气、活力，相当于 vitality, v i t a l i t y， 或者是 energy， 空格三。接着，这就是为什么这幻影被叫做佩博尔现象。Dirks 从来没有实现，而后一句又说明为什么被叫做 Paper's Ghost。推测空格三应该与这个幻象的命名有关。选项 D， 一个叫做佩博尔的科学家。最终将这类剧院和幻影介绍给大家，可以呼应前面只想象却没实现的舞台效果，文艺连贯。所以答案 D。那这句中最后的一个字 masses， 单数是 mass， 表示一团一块。例如说 a mass of a rock， 一大块的岩石。The masses 复数形态表示民众或大众，相当于 the crowd 群众。空格四。是主题句，呼应整段的主旨，而整段内容是有关于光影魔术在各方面的应用。选项 A， 现今佩博尔现象仍在世界各地的博物馆、节庆、游乐园中娱乐人们，可以呼应后续的迪士尼的例子，文艺连贯。答案选 A。到第三句，近年来3 D 立体投影将佩博尔现象提升到新境界。That 子句中的 beam。当发射发光，相当于 shine transmit t r a n s m i t 传送。例如说 ，the sun beams brightly， 太阳照射的很亮。beam 当名词表示一束光束，而 high beam 就是车子的远光灯。空格五，接着，多亏这幻象，新一代音乐爱好者才能体会这些传奇。前面说新科技提升投影技术，后面说新一代的人能体会传奇艺人的表演，可以推测空格五应该提到某些已故的巨星。选项一，这些发展使已故巨星 Michael Jackson 和 Whitney Houston 重回到世人的面前。剧中的 advances 发展，呼应高科技 Michael Jackson 等，呼应下一句说的 legendary artist。传奇艺人，所以答案选一、e。选项一、e, 句子当中的 deceased 是形容词，表示已故的。前面加上定冠词 the， 就变成 the deceased， 视为所有已逝的人。例如说 ，all the deceased are innocent， 所有已逝的人都是无辜的。以上是今天的讲解，谢谢收听。Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. We will really be here then. We will not be an illusion or a Pepper's ghost. That's right. You can bet on that. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.